the brother's couple gave me into they were actually making potions and then selling them like i said the first episode was uh, yesterday and we just uh, got the idea of the game and then collected some um, you know ingredients outside of filming and today as episode is gonna be only about crafting potions and selling them to become the richest witch alive or merchant or whatever the fuck you actually want to call it i have no idea okay so let's do a forest one no, okay, seems this time it's going a uh, different color than the red one, which is very nice. Okay, forest bread is like a sleep potion, which is very nice. We also had a love potion. And as you can see right now, because we already have the recipes, uh, the game automatically feels like uh, different types of ingredients that uh, works with that particularly... Uh, with that particularly, let's say, ingredients, per se. I'm just gonna make some more potions as well. Okay, so we don't actually have any more ingredients at the moment. Do more. Ah, whatever, let's start uh, actually selling. Let me just quickly put them. As you can see, we will be removing this one and then putting all five of them for sale at the same time. So we don't need to occupy occupy space without any reasons you know ah, okay. Ah, okay okay i also received a message earlier today that we have a lot of um we actually have a lot of uh, like three days that are like this particularly like uh, potions like exploring potions not adventure potions like the one with the health that we had in the beginning of the game this is more concentrated on this type of potion sleeping uh, breath and things like that so this is much in case you just need to take a good nap from time to time that's the whole idea of this potion okay okay potion that spells that makes you fall asleep okay i think that should be pretty decent for the beginning. Making sure I don't have... Yeah, I had enough. Okay, let me quickly put the rest as well. Portions of sleep as well. I'm just going to put it on that side, even though it's on the right side as well. One. Ah, whatever, we got this. Let's start and actually open the shop and start selling some good-ass potions. Okay, let's wait for them. Okay, here's the first customer of the day. Hello, ma'am. Grab the sleeping potion in the middle. It looks better food on you. Come on, grab it. Oh, 69. Thank you very much. Bye. Come again. I know you need that sleeping potion. Okay, the second one. There's a hooded man watching from a distance. Okay, sorry. I went with a little Tobascus rider. Come on, you fat piece of shit. Perfect. Another 69 dollars. The moment we have 328 this day is, this day is going quite good let's quickly look at the shop house integrity we need to resolve that okay we got two potions we lost a little bit of money hello purple lady take that sleeping potion you definitely need some sleep try to act a little like sleeping beauty man will like it okay no he took another potion piece of shit you only that was the bitch okay so we lost like eight percent on that one because of the house integrity, but I don't have money to repair it. The floors, as you can see, it's scratch right there. Okay, you know you want a great potion, ma'am. This is the best store in the country. Pick a goddamn potion and get the fuck out of my store. Okay, perfect. Another 69 buckaroos. Let's see. Uh, I should make another maybe forest bread. Just so, because I hope they will sell. The current trend is the correct trend, so... I'm hoping to make a lot of money today because it, the trends only last a couple of days and then they switched They switch so the best option is to like one two days just to literally grab all the ingredients you can on the third day Just sell everything as fast as humanly possible Hey, welcome back. I think you were earlier, but with a hoodie Okay, we're still making decent money as you can see right now She is asking us for a specific potion that we do not actually have on display so right now there's two options. Oh my god, just fucking look at the client. Thank you. Okay, you can either wait and send him or just dismiss him. Watch out with the dismissing. The most, the more uh, customers you dismiss, the more their love for the shop will go down. 
Yeah, I learned that on the hard way. Let's just say, don't do that. I mean, if you think they will keep coming in for a specific potion and you need to dismiss like three in a row, I advise just to stop the store, make that a couple of that potion and then reopen it. As you can see right now, we only have one specific type of potion left and I really need the money, so I will keep going at it. As you can see, I got lucky and that particular customer wanted that particular potion. We only have two more breath of the f life. We also have Raven from Teen Titans over here. Come on, you know you want that potion. There's only two left. It's a deal at 69 buckaroos. And let's quickly just make another forest of bread. I really want to end this. Uh, I really want to end this episode with a lot of cash. Okay, great. We made another one. As you can see, that's not like, like the normal ingredients for that particular potion, but thank God for the game, it automatically fills with the correct type of ingredient. And don't be afraid to actually mix it, because I uh, went back to the first episode and read, you are supposed to mix and match them to create new potions. So it's just a matter of luck and having a lot of potions. So don't be afraid to waste things, but generally if you want to go for like the correct one in the first try, with the same ingredient, like let's say the healing one, go and put three healings or three energy or three poison just three of the same and it will 100% guarantee you a specific potion so don't be afraid in the beginning at least just to put three of the same thing in that and make the correct potion and after that just you know fuck it wait it okay we're at 800 811 money 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 Okay, we still have a couple of more potions on this play. Sir, ma'am, whatever you are, unicorn tree, what, I don't give a fuck, buy that potion. Thank you very much, you fat ass. You have been robbed of your hard-earned $69. Ah, shit, we cannot. Let's just quickly make a healing potion. I know they don't actually need the healing potion right now, but it's good. We have the ingredients. Why not make it quickly and leave it on the store after we're done selling. So next time they have adventure or action, we can, uh, you know, use it then, not just making their just fucking use it from right now. Okay, that's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Okay, that's genius. Okay, little me tap, 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 tap. Perfect. Okay, okay, another healing potion. Okay, I think that's enough healing potion for the moment. So we officially sold everything in the store and we made an amazing profit of... Drum rolls, 1,018 cents or some shit like that. Because we are officially done with everything we have in the store and we cannot make any more today. I'm going to officially close the store. I said close the store like that. As you can see, the carpet is fucked because the more traffic it is, the more... Okay, let's see. As you can see, client satisfaction is kind of zero because we kept refusing. This is the amount of sales today. How much we lost because of the house integrity and because we removed some people that they didn't want. So, thank you very much for watching this episode. Hope you liked it. See you on the next one. Profit! Yay!